Welcome back to Living in Wait. In today's edition of Living Akamai, our friend Kei Mukaigawa of Engel and Volkers focuses on another neighborhood. Today, her and a guest feature Waipahu. Aloha, everyone. Welcome to this week's Neighborhood Highlight segment. Joining us is Eileen Andres from Engel and Volkers, Honolulu. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you, Kay. You know, you lived in Waipahu and went to school there. Tell us a little bit more about your neighborhood. I lived in Waipahu and attended August Irons Elementary School. I have fond memories like marching in a parade, which started at the old plantation sugar mill, shopping at the iconic Arakawa store and Cornet store, watching movies at the Royal Sunset Drive-In, and riding the Waipahu Sky Slide. Waipahu's landscape was simple with lots of vacant land. Obviously, that has changed with the construction of shopping centers, commercial and industrial buildings, and neighborhoods. Waipahu has such an interesting history, and wasn't it a gathering place for many cultures? Yes. Waipahu was home to a sugar mill and plantation that started in 1897 as the Oahu Sugar Company. Nearly 1,000 laborers came from the Philippines, Japan, China, Portugal, and Norway to work the plantation when sugar in Hawaii was king. Waipahu has many to offer from indoor fish markets like Waipahu Festival Marketplace and Seafood City, a couple of farmers markets, a slew of shopping centers, and a plethora of eateries like Taniokas, Highway Inn, Thelmas, and Coonies. There are four golf courses, including the world-famous Waikele Country Club. You'll find Waikele Premium Outlets, which attract a lot of tourists, and an abundance of parks like the Patsy Mink Central Oahu Regional Park. The Skyline Rail passes through Waipahu with two subway stations. Tell us a little bit more about the neighborhoods that make up Waipahu. It certainly has grown over the years. Waipahu is located in the south central area of Oahu. It's divided into three ahupua'a, Waipio, Waikele, and Ho'ae'ae, and has 16 regions. Crestview, Renaissance, Robinson Heights, Royal Cunia, Village Park, Waikele, Waipahu Estates, and Waipio Gentry, to name a few. A little further north is Waipio's newest planned community, Koa Ridge which will offer everything in one place. So what's the real estate market like in Waipahu? At this same time in 2022, a total of 178 single family homes were sold with a median sales price of 956,500. In 2023 year to date, 131 single family homes were sold with a median sales price of 910,000. The Renaissance at this same time in 2022 had a median sales price of 1,010,000. In 2023 year to date, it increased slightly to 1,050,000. In Royal Cunia, the 2022 median sales price was 1,050,000 and decreased to 938,000 a year later. Then you have Seaview. The median sales price in 2022 was 977,500 and it increased to 1,050,000 in 2023 year to date. Overall, the Waipahu real estate market remains strong. We'd like to thank Eileen Andres for sharing her insight on Waipahu. If you have any questions for Eileen or would like to attend one of our upcoming events, give us a call at 808 725-2000. We appreciate you joining us and we'll see you next Tuesday. Let Engel and Volkers Honolulu simplify your life. All right, good stuff. And now, of course, you can always catch uh, past episodes of Living Akamai on our website, kh12.com. That's right.